what is pattern attribute? Pattern attribute is restriction attribute that we use to define pattern that we need to follow in input field. For example, with pattern attribute that we can use on our tell input type, we can define that user need to enter three digits, their sign, three digits, their sign, and three digits. If we not follow our pattern, we will get validation error. Our next input field will be field where you can enter telephone number. So let's set tell. Type for this one will be tell. Let's rename it to tell field. And let's remove our step and value HTML attributes. Instead of them, let's use pattern HTML attribute. And with pattern HTML attribute, we will set valid pattern that we can use here. For example, we will allow the users to enter three digits, their sign, three digits, their sign, and three digits. Okay? For this pattern, we need to use something like this. So we can enter three values that need to be digits between 0 and 9. Then we can enter their sign. Once again, three values that need to be digits between 0 and 9. Their sign. And three values that need to be values between 0 and 9. OK. So now with the pattern HTML attribute, user need to follow this pattern that we have defined here. If we refresh our web page, we have our tell field. Let's enter our mandatory fields in our HTML form. And now when you try to submit our HTML form with any value that doesn't follow our rule, we will get validation error. So as you can see, now we have validation error, then we need to follow requested format. That is three digits, their sign, three digits, their sign, and three digits. So basically, we just add some dash signs here after first three digits and after second three digits, and now try to submit our HTML form. So you can see that we now can submit our HTML for our data processing dummy script and value that we have entered in our tell field will be submitted to our action script for data processing. So basically with the pattern HTML attribute you can define any pattern that user need to follow when he or she enter values in that input field. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope this was helpful to you. If you like our work, please become our Patreon or simply donate our PayPal. Please remember, even a little from you means a lot for us. You can follow us on our Twitter and Instagram profiles. And please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Because on our YouTube channel, knowledge is waiting for you.